Taurus. I hope you guys are well. Um, thank you for your patience. Been dealing with some family stuff, but I do want to get this reading done for you. This is an energy between you and a partner, or perhaps somebody on your mind if you are in separation. I'm going to pause this because I need to cough. My apologies. Thank you. All right. Um, let's get into this energy. So show me the energy of the feelings of the person for Taurus. You have justice and reverse here, Taurus. So interesting energy to start out with for your person. How do they view you? How do they see you? How does this person see Taurus? Six of Cups in Reverse. It's going to bug me. And their actions towards you, Taurus. We have the Knight of Wands. Your feelings for this person, Taurus. It's too many cards, please. Just one. Your feelings for this person. <clears throat> Read the Nine of Swords. How you are seeing them, how you see them. Three of Swords. There's a lot of swords in this energy. Or at least the energy feels very like in our heads. Um, and the energy overall, the connection of the energy. We have guidance. This is the Hierophant. All right, let me just straighten this out because it's going to drive me wild. get an angel energy here for you Taurus oh my god oh my god it's better at least with my eyes all right so an angel message for you on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. I will say that it came out in reverse, Taurus, but I'm going to put it up right because that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to get one from the Denied Shadow Oracle. This is more so about like emotional energies or psychological situations that might be contributing to this situation as well. We have placating coming out in reverse. Someone is trying to appease the other. I'm going to leave it in reverse. it feels here the way that they're viewing you or like I'm sorry their feelings for you with the justice card in reverse they may be seeing you as somebody that is very unfair or unwilling to listen to their side of situations unwilling to see the truth in the matter um, they may see you as somebody that is um, not willing to see the truth or or the way that you communicate is um, that you, that you flip it if you want. This may be the energy that they are carrying. This is a, a general reading, so please flip the energy if it's not making sense. Um, and not all messages will resonate with every single Taurus, that's obvious. 
with the general read, but I have to say it. Um, but yeah, here with Divine Justice in Reverse is how, they, uh, how they're feeling about you. They feel that you're somebody that's unfair, um, you're unresponsive to the truth, or like you don't want to see um, how things can change by bringing in honesty. They see you as potentially dishonest to your Taurus, and that's what's frustrating about it. Um, <clears throat> And I, I do want to say as well, like, this focus on service did come in reverse when I pulled it. And generally, I mean, I'm like, okay, it's an angel oracle, it should probably go upright, but um, it feels here that, and I'm going to leave it upright, but it feels here that the connection, there's been some sort of like injustice or some sort of lack of service to it, lack of just service to it. That's what I want to say. Okay. So, for the Divine Justice in Reverse here, we have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Magician. Very interesting energy with that. Um, <clears throat> their feelings for you. I feel that this is, if I want to say it, Taurus, it feels like there's been an off and on energy here, or like, um, like a difficulty, like coming to find solid ground with one another or being able to trust each other to have like each other's backs or some sort of like back and forth energy here that just feels like um it's off and the way that it's presenting itself here is that they're seeing you as somebody who is not either honest or or presenting themselves as who as you could or as you should um, yet here it's almost as if like your your intention is to kind of like ace of wands knight of cups and magician this is a really interesting energy for you know this because it can talk about trying to finally rectify any issues but it also gives me love bomb issues or it, it gives me love bomb energy as well and i don't know if that's what you're how you're presenting yourself to them like okay well you know uh, i know i was horrible then but now it's like I, i'm gonna be better now you know and i'm gonna do all these nice things and then i'm gonna explode it's it's kind of like this person has uncertainty about how to feel you it's like jekyll and hyde energy that's what i'm picking up right? And you may be feeling this with this person, but here it almost feels like that's how they're viewing you. It's like, I'm going to be really nice. I'm going to be really, you know, um, I'm going to try and like do things better. And then it, it's still not fixing it. I want one more before I go into that with this deck. Okay. Thank you. A little bit more clarification, yikes. Yeah, even the deck is having a difficult time coming together. coming out in reverse the page of wands and the hermit Taurus bottom of the deck the justice card so it feels like you are trying to bring some level of honesty here some sort of rectifying this energy um, this type of dynamic may be newer to you or maybe this type of like problem solving in a relationship may be newer to you and so it's like it's really asking you to um <laughs> prioritize truth to prioritize honesty you know i i, I will say <clears throat> i have to stand up here for a second my back is feeling weird um i will say sometimes in relationships like and this could be for them too Sometimes we tell fibs, sometimes we um, don't present ourselves a certain way, or like we ex like our expectations, especially here with the Six of Cups as well, our expectations can just be too much, or um, you know, like the way that we present ourselves isn't quite how we are. And so it just, it kind of feels like a dual-sided energy here, so not the Taurus, with the 
this person is feeling, or you may be feeling this from you. With the Empress in reverse, so this is an interesting energy, just because when she is in reverse, her problems become your problems. And that may also be an issue here with like projecting on this person. This person may see you as somebody that projects your problems on them. Even if you're not like outright lying to them, it may just be a situation where it's like you project your issues on them and then you apologize through like emotional, like, okay, I'm sorry, let me fix this, let me do this, but then it happens again. And so it's as it's asking for us to really like look at the page of wands energy, because that's a child energy. That's that's reactionary energy here. It's with the hermit and the, the empress in reverse. Okay, bottom of this deck, justice, right? So we're trying to make it right. We're trying to catch ourselves in the act. You know, we want to get that Empress upright. That's your card, Taurus. It's the Empress energy. That's really confusing first message there. And, and if that's not re 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 if that's not resonating with all of you, that's fine. Maybe more will resonate, but that's a very specific message. Um, I feel here this also may be a situation where this person has either known you to be very hot or cold. You know, very distant. Sometimes it's like inconsistent energy. It's like you're on or you're off. Okay, show me the six of um, six of cups in reverse. This is how they see you. Two of wands, death card, hangman. Um, I feel like this person, <clears throat> I feel like this person is either seeing you make some changes in your life. I feel that they see you being very much more responsible when it comes to how you, I want to say project, how you react. Um, a lot of the readings have been very much dealing with people's reactionary habits, um, and habits can be changed, remember that, okay? Um, and so here with the Two of Wands and the Death card, this this change, this intentional, like, this intentional way to show up with integrity, honesty, and respect for everybody involved, it's a change entirely, but they're seeing you as being open to the process of that, Taurus. They're seeing you as being... Um, taking your time in the process, whatever you're undoing as far as like your history within emotions or like your reactionary ways or like the things that keep blockages in your life, they're seeing you make the steps to take that energy and transform it. They see that you want a different direction in this situation, but you also have a lot of like anxiety about you. You have a lot of like energy about you that's very heavy. Uh, this reading already is like draining. <clears throat> this person's actions here towards you, you have the, the Knight of Wands here. So it does talk about moving forward with you. It does talk about, you know, trying to be on the same page with you, but also too, like this feels rushed. It, it does. It feels rushed. And I feel like this person needs to be aware that it's best to let this type of situation take time we don't want to rush something we don't want to like i don't know it just feels like we, we it feels like this person it feels like they pull back their energy when you get like this but it's like they're ready to go again when you show up again so it's like it's kind of like a repeated cycle here taurus <sighs> Priestess, the King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this person is expressing that they are willing to make changes with you and they show up in a very positive way, but also um, if you don't change, they will hold back and do what they want to do in their own life. That's kind of what it feels like here, Taurus, like this person. I don't think it's grandstanding. I just think it's like laying down a boundary here. Like, I'm, if, if this doesn't change or this behavior doesn't change, I'm going to 
do what I need to do in my own life, you know, whether or not, and that may be news to you, or it may be some sort of like, just laying down a line in the sand, like this person is like, I will go and do what I need to do and live my life and see whomever I want to see and pull my energy back if this doesn't change. And I feel like it's taken this person a while to make that connection or understand that or want to express that. But it feels here that that is what's being expressed by this person. That is their action here. It's like they come first. Whatever repeat cycle that they've had with you here, Taurus, it feels like they're putting themselves first. And they'll pull their energy back as much as they need to because they realize that sometimes, you know, maybe they'll be, you know, received better elsewhere or with a different type of person or whatever. It just feels like they kind of have you on ice right now. This is a very heavy energy in this reading. So for your feelings for this person, Taurus, here you have the Nine of Swords, which is just worry, it's anxiety, it's not knowing how to fix something here. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the World, Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, is in a it's, it's a repeat offender, okay? Um, is what this energy is feeling like to me. This is a repeat offender energy. Um, so whether or not it's intentional, reactions play a part here. Um, <clears throat> and it's like the way that your feelings for them, it feels like so much has changed here. An ending has happened here, but the way you want to show up is like with a new beginning, with stability, with foundation. And I feel that that is put into question here. Show me the Knight of Pentacles here for Taurus, please. Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse is not a great card, okay? Um, just because it, it's, it talks about um, situations getting turned in on themselves, especially when it comes to any type of sense of progression, okay? Um, sometimes situations just need to end. I feel that this person has tried and I feel that this person has seen many sides of you. And I feel that the only reason that they have stayed is because they care about you. But I also feel that the, the level and dynamic here that is between you, it, it almost feels like it's not enough to keep something happening, to keep something going for them to continue to receive like, new energy Let, let's it's kind of like this love bomb energy like let me do this i'm sorry for this let me do this and then like falling back on old ways it feels here that this person is like kind of retracted their energy and they put a very clear boundary up with you taurus that's what it feels like and remember this can be your energy with this person okay um either way though with the six of um, with the six of wands here in reverse for the knight of pentacles being showing up and being taken serious that is going to be the issue. That is going to be an issue here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, Six of Wands. One plus six is seven. Seven of Wands is this energy of this person or you, whomever it is, guarding themselves, protecting their energy and what is most important to them because they know that this can be a reckless energy is what I'm picking up here, Taurus. <clears throat> How you see them is heartbroken. How you see them is th this situation has eaten at them. And I feel like you see your, how you've affected this, but you also, it's like, it's like a runaway train. Like sometimes our, our reactions, our emotions, things get out of whack to the point where we are like, it's like the runaway train. There's no, there's no, um, you know, conductor in that train. It's just, it's just running, running its course. You know, and here it's like that has hurt this person. Irresponsible actions in this situation have hurt this person. Show me the three. Okay, yeah, seven of wands. We just talked about the seven of wands right there. Um, so how you see them, seven of wands in reverse. Four of Wands, 
Ten of Wands. Wands energy all over the place here. Um, this person, Taurus, it feels like they have tried a lot here and they've kind of like run the level of the bandwidth that they're able to contribute here or want to. This person is pulling themselves away because the situation leads them to emotional uh, uncertainty and disturbance is what it feels like here. Um, it feels like they don't know what's coming when and they don't know how to deal with it. It just feels like dealing with an unstable person all the time. Okay, I'm not trying to call you an unstable person, but this is the energy of this reading. And again, please reverse the roles if that is what is necessary, okay? Um, it feels here with the Three of Swords, this person, how you see them is that they're just, they're giving up on this situation because it's been too much of a burden. This isn't the type of foundation that they want to build. You know, and it feels like they've stuck around to build foundations with you and it hasn't worked. It's an uphill battle all the time and they're growing tired of it. It feels like they're pulling their energy back because they're tired. And with the overall connection, the energy of the connection, we have the Hierophant, which is an interesting card just because that can call it. We can talk about healing, but it talks about tradition. It talks about religion, it talks about foundations within um, uh, like historical energies and stuff like that. There's a lot of, I don't know, I can talk about stability. So this is on the floor. You have the Six of Cups coming through here with this. Judgment. Two of Swords. And even just in the most simplest of ways, this can talk about stability and foundation between the two of you, the stability within this connection. Um, this person cares about you, Taurus. This person has pulled back their energy just because it feels like they don't know how to receive you. Um, it feels like they get dual energy, like somebody wearing a mask. And even here, it's like when we when we should be using our best judgment, when we should be, you know, giving our best and making the best decisions, this is even wearing a mask, right? It's like, where's the truth in that? Like, what are the intentions here if there's always a mask on in some way? It's, it's giving me the energy of not knowing what to believe in, not knowing what to trust. And when we burn our hand on the stove so many times, we will eventually stop burning our hand, you know? Once bitten, twice shy is the energy. And um, we have the Two of Swords here. So this feels like them cutting cutting ties or, or cutting off communication. I feel that this person may also try to like... I don't want to say it is teaching you a lesson. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like this person would rather like put their energy towards situations that might give them more happiness or certainty or foundation. Um, because we have the Knight of Wands coming up here, bottom of the deck, and it showed here their actions towards you as the Knight of Wands. So it feels very much that this person is, is wanting to explore potential other options um, maybe even get into situations that aren't um, intended to be in for the long term, but it feels here that they don't really have much choice because it's like they keep getting like this dual energy here that's not settled, it's not stable, it's, it's reactionary, and it feels flighty, to be honest. And so the best way of action for them, you know, in this situation is to kind of keep to themselves because they're not sure which version of you they're going to get. But they have love for you. They have a, a deep connection with you. That's not the issue. It's how things are being treated. It's placating. Someone is trying to appease the other. I don't think that this person is trying to appease anybody here. And I don't think that they... Yeah, I feel like if this is, we're talking about your energy, I feel like you have tried to piece this person over and over again, and it's simply not working. Because the action and the proof is in the pudding, right? Like, what is the actions? What are the, you know... So we have the Page of Wands coming out here with placating. Um, 
page of wands is childish energy we have the page of wands here it's it's communicating but it's flighty it's not 100 percent there you know it's not 100 percent there it's like the information is a mirage is kind of the energy that i'm picking up on and so rather than like entertaining it this person is pulling away because they see that this is a pattern show me focus on service here okay Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is healing. It's taking time to heal. I feel like I don't I don't want to say that the situation hasn't been difficult on you, but it just feels like, if we're being honest here, it feels like you are kind of like a point of contention for this situation and this person with the back and forth, the instability, like the reactions, like it's it's unstable. And I feel like whatever service is, is good here, they're putting their energy towards that. And I, I really think that you should as well, Taurus, put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Um, when you give something, make sure it's real, you know? Don't change it. If you, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. Don't change it though. Don't don't barf up all of your unresolved stuff on somebody else. Okay, this is them dealing with this of of unresolved issues. Um, let's pull an oracle for you. Yeah, it's too much hot and cold. I feel like the trust is, is kind of been gnawed at in this situation here, Taurus. Okay, we're gonna pull more because those were like three cards. There's one one. Okay, thank you. Peace is coming out in reverse. for Taurus at this situation, the peace, the level of peace between the two of you is off. Um, it feels here that like, this is a level, this peace card in general, like when we get it upright, it can talk about radical acceptance. It talks about freedom from attachment. It talks about um, having a clear understanding of what brings peace in a situation. But here it almost feels like, um, the disharmony between the two of you has overtaken a situation where it's just cyclical, round and round and round and round and round over and over again, it becomes problematic. Um, and not to say that this person doesn't have any fault in this, it just feels like this is not working. This is not working, this is not working, this is not working. And it's, it's, it's disharmonious, unharmonious, disharmonious, I'm not sure. <clears throat> And it feels like this person is going to find whatever peace they can. Um, and I have advice for Taurus in this reading. This is a very heavy reading. I'm so sorry, Taurus. But let's learn. Let's learn. Yeah. Okay. So you have the Six of Swords, the King of Swords, and you have um, the Hierophant and the Tower. Okay. Um... I feel that the situation has come to an end or coming to an end. Um, I feel that this person has put their foot down and they're seeking stability within their own life. And I feel that the situation is causing them to want to move away from this um, because I don't think change has been fruitful here or maybe we've just promised change and things have not happened and we get a lot of hot and cold and inconsistency. inconsistency in the duration of this situation. Can we get one more here? Okay. So we have the devil in reverse with the fool. Two major arcana. Um, learn from this. Learn from this. Let's not be attached with, with pessimism with overreaction with negativity with um i'm feeling feral intentions for this person anger issues um we need to detach from that because what it's doing is presenting in a very unhealthy way 
um, the freedom from that offers a new beginning, but it's not with this person. It feels like this, this change is for you to find a better way to cope in relationships, to show who you truly are, to not play games, to not, um, to not future fake, to not be, you know, problematic, um, and self-serving. There's a lot of stuff here that's really heavy, Taurus, and I feel that this is a relief to this person to let it go, and I feel that the level of anxiety that you've been dealing with in this one, yes, it comes with a big dose of rejection and the situation dissolving, but it also feels that it's important for this to happen because if this is the type of way that you've been operating in relationships, you must change it. Otherwise, you will never have a happy, satisfying relationship. Um, so that's what I have for you guys. I know this was harsh and it's not going to resonate with every single Taurus. But if it did, feel free to like, share, subscribe and comment if you want to. Um, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.